Hello everyone, I'm Mei Jing Liu, a first year PhD student from Smart Electronics, Materials and Systems, University of Southampton. Today, I'm going to talk about print of the resistive carbon formulation for stretch and flex sensor in e-textile application. My presentation has been divided into three main parts, which is going to answer three questions. First, why do we need variable stretch and flex sensor? And second, how can we make it? And the third one is, what is its performance? So, why do we need variable stretch and flex sensor? The market of human sensing increased every year, especially in healthcare application. For example, joint movement sensing. Basically, the sensing system has been achieved by traditional initial sensor that typically rely on accelerometer or gyroscope. However, a traditional initial system requires attaching the sensor to the body firmly. For example, using uh, elastic traps or uh, adhesive to fix the system in place, which is not comfortable. Here, I would like to introduce the concept of electronic textile. A textile means achieving sensing and electronic system based on textile substrate. This sensing system is more comfortable and free mobility. The research I'm doing is aiming on joint measurement sensing, which can be integrated in the e-textile development. So, how can we make it? Um, I would like to move on the fabrication process. The fabrication is basically based on stencil printing. First, um, I sprayed I sprayed the adhesive on stencil and stick it with substrate. Next, I prepare the piece of resistive ink by the spin mixer and print it on substrate by spatula. Then, I half curing the samples at 70 degrees of temperature and peel off the stencil. Finally, I finish the rest curing process. It's the, the process is very easy to understand. I guess you are curing about the stretchable and flex piece of resistive ink. So here, I use a rectangle uh, to represent the binder, which is polyurethane. The, per the first particle I want to introduce is 100 nanometer carbon black. The, the pa this particle will introduce conductivity to the binder system. Then, I add 40 nanometer carbon black to fill in the gap between 100 nanometer carbon black. It, is, it promotes the conductivity of the ink. However, I can't endless add it because it will increase the viscosity of the ink dramatically. So I add the third uh, particle is silver nanowire into the formulation. It connects most of the carbon particles together and will increase the conductivity. After several few times ratio adjusting, I, the formulation is printable. So now here is the flex and stretch sensor. Mm. As shown in the SEM figure, it is fiber, fabric based. There is a polyurethane layer pre-coated on the top of the fiber surface, acting like interface. Top of that is the piece of resistive film. The, the right top figure shows the resistance against the stretching percentage of the sensor. The resistance data from the first stretching shows low resistance value in peak ohm range, potentially due to the unstretched ink between silver nanowire and carbon particles. For the subsequent uh, stretching, it generally increased the up to 9% stretching. For consistent stretching, mm, consistent sensing stretching over 1000 cycle, the main strain should be below 5%. Above this, sample can fail prematurely due to the cracks forming across the width of the printing strip. And the write down figure shows the write down figure shows the um, 
fabricated flag sensor resistance output against the bending angle. The resistance output varies from 100 to 300% with binding angle from 0 degree to 100 degree. In a conclusion, um, I've, I've achieved a piezo-resistive formulation which is suitable for print on textile and I also realized the textile-based stretch and a flex sensor for wearable electronics. Um, my future work, uh, my PhD will carry on optimized functional formulation for stretch and a flex sensor and also optimize the fabrication process of screen printing. Thank you. If you have any questions, I'm 